everyone, my name is Dina Tanin. I'm from LBVA Palembang. In this video, I'd like to share with you some TOEFL listening tips to study that you may find helpful to take the real test. Why listening? To most people, listening in TOEFL is considered the hardest part that they have to work on due to some factors, such as the length of the test itself, the lack of practice, the unfamiliar accent that we have to listen and the ability to memorize tips. Well guys, now let's start with tips number one. It would be listen to spoken English regularly. Practice makes perfect, right? So the more you listen to English, the better your listening skill will be. But remember that you want to listen to spoken English. So music sung in English would be as useful since English sounds different when it is sung compared to when it is spoken. So, talk radio, news station, movies, TV show, and podcasts in English are great options. Try to listen to some English with background noise such as interview outside because TOEFL listening recordings purposely include background noises. Next, let's move to tips number two. It is listen to different English accents. The TOEFL listening test will include at least one native speaker English accent outside of North American accents. This is to help you prepare for the variety English accent that you likely come across in the real world. This accent will come from UK, Australia, or New Zealand. So, be sure to get some exposure to different accents before exam day, such as listening to news clips or radio station from those countries. Tips number three, take complete practice topical listening test. Listening section is quite long. After three or four recording, you may get tired and your attention may start to lag. Then, you need to assign time to take this section all at once with no breaks, no distraction, just like the real task. Doing this will help you become familiar with the length and pacing of the listening section. And last but not the least, we come to tips number four. That is, getting in the habit of taking notes. Even if you have great English skills and usually remember the things you hear in English, you should still take notes during the listening section. Each recording is several minutes long and contains a lot of information. If you don't take notes, it can be easy to forget some of points made. Moreover, there is no repetition. You are allowed to listen to the recording once. So remember, take notes. So guys, do you still remember the four tips that I have already discussed with you before? What are they? Okay, let's see. So, the first one, listen to spoken English regularly. And then, you have to listen to different English accents. Next, take complete practice TOEFL listening test. And the last one is, get in the habit of taking notes. Okay, everybody, that's all my tips for now. Good luck for your study. I'll see you soon in another video. Thanks for watching.